Facts First presents Why can't we remember our dreams? We spend a third of our lives asleep. While we're sleeping, we dream. And many people just don't remember their dreams. You might think you remember your dreams, but you don't remember all of them. You only remember the ones that you had shortly before you woke up. In fact, you usually only remember that last dream for a short time. Those memories begin to fade, and then you fall back to sleep, and by the next day you've completely forgotten about it. It's kind of interesting, because if you were awake and you forgot most of your day, that would have you worried. You'd be rushing out to the doctor. Forgetting our dreams, however, is normal, and it makes us wonder why. Why can't we remember our dreams? Before we get into this video, what is the most vivid dream you've ever had? Tell us about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Thomas Andrillion is a neuroscientist at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. He says that we have a tendency to forget our dreams immediately. Those who say that they never dream, they likely just forget them easier than those who remember them. Thomas believes people who claim to have never remembered a dream in their entire life might recall them if they are awakened and asked the second they wake up. While the exact reason that some people can't remember their dreams is unknown, scientists have gained a little insight into the memory process during sleep. When you fall asleep, not all of the regions of your brain go offline at the same time. According to a study published in the journal Neuron in 2011, the last region to go to sleep is the hippocampus, which is a curved structure that sits inside each hemisphere in your brain. It is this part of the brain that's responsible for moving critical information from your short-term to long-term memory. Thomas believes that if your hippocampus is the last area of the brain to go to sleep, it could be the last to wake up. That means that you have a window of time where your dream is stored in your short-term memory, but if your hippocampus is not fully awake, it won't be saved as a long-term memory, so you will forget it easily and quickly. Thomas says that could be the reason why dream memories can be so fleeting. He says it doesn't mean that your hippocampus is inactive throughout the night. Actually, that part of the brain is very active when you're sleeping. It's storing the memories of your dreams. It just doesn't stay awake long enough to download them to your long-term memory. There's data that has shown that during some stages of sleep, your hippocampus is awake and sending the information to the cortex, but it's not receiving any new information. This type of communication is considered unidirectional, and it allows your memories to be sent from the hippocampus to the cortex for long-term storage, but the hippocampus cannot register the new information. When you wake up, your brain needs about two minutes to get its memory encoding abilities back on track, so if you're studying for a test, don't do it in the first two minutes you wake up. Before those two minutes are up, memories can't be made because these essential memory-making areas of the brain are not awake, even though the rest of your brain is up and going. In 2017, a study was published in the journal Frontiers in Human Neuroscience. During the study, researchers in France monitored the sleep patterns of 18 people who report remembering their dreams almost all day. They also had 18 other people in the study who say that they practically never remember their dreams. The researchers discovered that those who couldn't remember their dreams woke up less often during the night, and those who could remember their dreams woke up more often. Those who woke up frequently during the night were awake for an average of two minutes or more, and those who didn't remember their dreams remained awake for only about a minute. Experts believe that our poor ability to create memories when we're sleeping could be linked to the changes in the levels of our two neurotransmitters, acetylcholine and noradrenaline which are essential in memory retention. When we fall asleep, the levels drop drastically. When we are in REM sleep, which is when we have our most vivid dreams, the acetylcholine returns to the wakeful levels, but the noradrenaline remains very low. According to Ernest Hartman, a professor of psychiatry at Tufts University School in Medicine, the reason we don't remember our dreams could just be that they're not memorable enough. Mundane dreams may not be significant enough for the brain to remember. If you have a dream that is emotional, though, or important in your waking life, you have a better chance of remembering those dreams. With all these studies about dreams, we still really don't know much about them, how our brain uses the information or stores it, and there are many mysteries about sleep and dreaming that we probably will never find the answers to. Do you remember your dreams? Tell us yes or no in the comments below, and subscribe for more.